Hi, my name is Darren Miles with Empower RF Systems from Englewood, California. Here we have our third generation high power amplifier. Uh, it is a 1 uh, to 1 1.4 gigahertz amplifier at 8 kilowatts. Uh, this particular amplifier has uh, six individual drawers that are combined uh, together at the rear. The front panel LCD controls the system. The front panel uh, GUI is actually the same as what you would see in a web browser. So the local control and remote control is identical. To turn the system on, we simply use the three buttons uh, for cold, standby, hot, standby, and online. Uh, and the attenuation uh, is controlled via the uh, percentages here on the front panel. Uh, I am at maximum power at 69 uh, and change. And I can reduce the overall gain of the system uh, down to, in this case, approximately 64 or a couple of kilowatts. Uh, every fault in the system is set up uh, to protect the amplifier uh, and or maintain power uh, on the air. The faults are organized uh, as uh, input overdrive, uh, power limiter, uh, reflected power, we have a temperature fault, as well as an interlock fault to make sure the drawers are fully engaged. We will take a look at these faults next on a uh, computer screen. All right, so in a standard web browser, we will pull up the amplifier uh, by its IP address uh, and then log in. Uh, we have uh, uh, several different roles uh, that can be utilized for login. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use admin. So on the command tab, uh, we have the current settings of the amplifier up at the top, uh, cold uh, indicators for cold, hot, standby, and online, as well as the operating, uh, the RF control mode, uh, and at where we are in the VVA. Uh, I am already online with this amplifier, and uh, to bring it up to full power, I'm just going to apply, uh, and we get a forward uh, peak of uh, about 69 and a half dBm, and again, this is a 8 kilowatt uh, amplifier. Uh, at the top, all of these levels, uh, we have four that are measuring both peak and RMS uh, for various levels, uh, and they're all working concurrently, each at 100 megahertz. Um, the amount of information uh, here is um, over 10 gigabits per second, uh, and uh, we're looking every uh, sample every 10 nanoseconds. The RF input uh, from the customer here is uh, approximately minus four uh, to get to full power. And I'm going to bring this back down. I'll show you that it actually works. And back down at uh, about 100 watts. Uh, forward and reverse are uh, the two channels that customers are very interested in typically. Uh, reverse is actually looking at, uh, we'll look at reflected power, for example, if you have an unbalanced load. Uh, or uh, some sort of uh, imperfect mismatch um, in, in the load. And the unbalanced uh, channel here we utilize uh, for measuring the uh, unbalanced en energy in the final uh, combiner uh, of the system uh, before it goes outside of our rack. Uh, we have indicators for RF level on the input side as well as uh, forward energy going out in the amplifier. We have also have indicators for blanking active, which is a 3.3 uh, or 5 volt TTL uh, signal that is used to enable the amplifier. This is particularly useful in the case of uh, pulse only amplifiers, which this one happens to be. Uh, it is currently running at about 20% uh, duty. The shutdown uh, signal is also indicated here, uh, which is typically used for safety equipment uh, or in some cases uh, flow switches for liquid cooling. Uh, safety. All the faults for the systems are arranged here in this panel and they're uh, pretty much displayed at all times uh, on, the, on the front panel. Uh, under the status panel we have more uh, uh, 
granular details of each of these faults, where they're sampled. In a larger system where we have multiple drawers uh, controlled by a, a primary uh, controller, uh, like uh, is, is this, is, this is the case, we have six amplifiers and each amplifier can be drilled down to uh, see the, the given specifics for that particular amplifier, uh, whether or not uh, it has a, a fault state um, at its lower level uh, system and um, all of its uh, drivers and the, the RF chain uh, to go along with it, as well as its own metering uh, of what kind of energy is uh, being dissipated from that particular amplifier. This drill down uh, concept it will, is, is uh, critical for uh, troubleshooting and debugging. Under the environmental tab, uh, we have in this uh, particular system, we have uh, both air cooling and liquid cooling uh, going on. We have several fans that are all measured with the standard tachometer and um, throttled accordingly. And in the bottom section, uh, we can see that we have some uh, analog sensors that are looking at the uh, flow rates of the uh, glycol loop uh, going through the, the system, which is in this case about 12 gallons per minute uh, to and fro, as well as uh, about a gallon per minute for a um, small uh, load. Um, this system is also equipped with a uh, output switch. This is a fairly new feature uh, being added uh, for this system, but uh, we can switch between uh, the primary antenna and a liquid-cooled uh, dummy load, and that functionality um, is wrapped around uh, a hot switch um, uh, prevention algorithm. Uh, hope this demonstration has been uh, helpful for you, and um, Please give us a shout if you have any questions.